What is a phenotype? What is a genotype? Sure, absolutely. So I like to compare it to humans. It's really easy to understand. When two parents have a child, that child is uniquely its own individual, and that child inherits many of the traits from their parents, right? Oh, you got blue eyes, just like your dad inherited that trait. The genotype is the actual genetic coding and the traits that got inherited from the parents. So that's like the hard-coded data. Genotype is in the DNA. It, is, it, it are traits that are present or not present that determine how the plant is going to express. For instance, able to produce anthocyanin, that purple, purple pigment that many plants produce, or not able to, to produce anthocyanin. If the plant is not able to produce anthocyanin, there's nothing you can do to coax that expression out of it. That's the genotype. It's the actual genetic information that was inherited from the parent plants. Now, phenotype is how that plant expresses. It's how it turns out. Because there's a lot of variability in there. Phenotype includes environment. It includes you. How are you fertigating? What's your nutrient schedule? What's your environment like? Uh, as far as the climate, this all plays into phenotype expression, and that is why your phenotype is uniquely your phenotype. You may have seen before that someone will get the same plant, they'll get a cutting of a plant and grow it, and it turns out different than their buddy. Maybe their buddy even grew it in a very similar indoor controlled environment, but it just came out different. Funny how that came out different, right? Well, those are the phenotype, those are the phenotypical differences, right? Those are the phenotypes expressing themselves. So Genetics also change over time. This is something that's really important to, to understand, especially when you're dealing with medicinal plants, um, because environment does affect your genes, right? The way epigenetics work is that genetics affect our outcomes and our actions affect our genetics. If you smoke a pack a day and your kid smokes a pack a day and their kid smokes a pack a day of cigarettes, their progeny is going to have different predispositions than if you had not taken those actions, right? That's why doctors want to know if you have a family history of this or that. Same thing happens with plants. Genetics will alter the DNA over time. Viruses and viroids will, will get into the genetic code and change the way they express. And when it comes to plants, what we're really talking about is not so much smoking a pack a day, but the terroir. The terroir, this idea of the totality of the plant's habitat affecting how the plant expresses itself, the dirt, you know, the way that the soil and the microbes in the soil affect that plant's flavor, the salt air, something, something about it, right? That's the terroir. And terroir influences and changes genetics over time. I'll give you an example. I'm out here in Hawaii, and I was talking to some OGs about Maui Waui. And when it comes to provenance, you know, a lot of people have different stories. And uh, when it comes to Maui Waui, they're saying this is a Oaxacan plant. This is a Mexican plant that was brought to Hawaii and acclimated over several decades. It changed the way it expresses, and now it's a different, uh, a different variety than we're used to. So, again, it's about the genotype, which is the hard-coded inherited traits. It's about the phenotype, which includes that environment, and that environment really is terroir, which will alter your your uh, genetic expressions over time so it's pretty interesting stuff this clip is brought to you by ac infinity use discount code mr grow at 15 to save on any of their products